Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do an inbox review of the Italieri's 2991 kit. This aircraft um, is the F-104G. Um, this aircraft was designed in the 1950s. It was the first aircraft, um, operational aircraft, that managed to reach uh, uh, Mark II. It was designed by the famous Kelly Johnson that also designed the SR-71 and the A-12 for the CIA. Italia is telling us that we're going to have uh, 124 parts, um, detailed um, F-104 cockpit controls, um, a Martin Bacon ejection seat. Um, that's a nice feature. You can actually see that you're going to have the ports, you're going to have the emergency um, oxygen bottle, um, adhesive acetate silk seat belts, pilot helmet and oxygen mask, and it does have um, a couple of hose, and a pilot visor, gun sight, and radar scope. Clear parts. The kit was originally um, released by SG in back in 1983, if I remember correctly. And um, it was uh, issued, reissued by Italia in 2001, and this kit was actually released uh, in July 2020. I paid around £22, shipping included, from eBay. This is the instruction um, manual. Um, pretty much typical to Italia, you've seen one, you've seen all of them. Um, I did manage to have a, a look early on it. I did manage to find two pines actually missing from the instructions. First one would be letter L, which is a federal standard 36 to 31. Um, it is a dark grey. You can um, easily use a Revell 78. The other colour missing is this strip here. Um, the paint is no, it has letter N. It is actually a glossy white. You can use um, Home Roll 22, Revell number 4, uh, Tamiya X2, or Gunze H1. Back to instructions. Um, well, the instructions are straightforward, you shouldn't um, encounter any kind of problems. Um, it, it should come relatively quick to assemble, to put together. Um, you might be taking a little bit of time when you're painting all these details, especially on this side here, on the on the side panels and the instrument panel. This is what I um, I really want to show you. Um, I'm going to show you in details. You can see all these. Um, switches, knobs, levers that you can actually paint separately and then um, after the the panel, after you paint the panel, dries up, you can add them nicely. Um, here we have the tub, the side panels. Um, again, a very nice feature is the um, control stick. Again, you can actually paint and then attach the, um, the details, so they're going to be nice and tidy. Um, it doesn't look to be a very complicated um, model, so is I wouldn't say it's not for beginners, but you should have a little bit of practice before that. Here are the instrument panels. Again, you can add a lot of levers, a lot of knobs switches, um, head-up display, again, really nice built, clear parts, uh, instrument panel again, uh, here you can actually, you'll have to, to apply some decals. This is one of the uh, nicest part from, uh, from the kit, is the Martin Baker seat. Here we have the rocket motor, here we have the bucket, uh, you can actually, I'll show you, you can actually see all this rivet. 
this is the MOR handle, the manual override in case uh, the pilot needs to separate for himself from the uh, from the seat after he ejects. We do have a gun, the main gun, and the secondary um, ejection point initiator, uh, the main beam. I think this is a PSP where the pilot has all his uh, um, survival equipment like food, water, uh, handgun, um, fishing line and um, here we have the harness and you do have a lot of buckles and belts. Um, the QRF, um, actually they do give you instruction how to put those QRFs. Um, again, uh, the buckles here, the lap strap. Um, these are the um, HVAU, the reels that pull the pilot once he ejects uh, to bring him in the correct position. The main ejection point, the port where the pilot connects his uh, microphone, uh, his oxygen mask, um, the helmet, um, and uh, the decals that you need for uh, for it. And here's the, the end and how you attach. So, um. Inside, we have three exposed in gray scale, in gray, uh, one transparent, a decal sheet, the um, adhesive acetate silk seat mounts, and a, um, a stand for the entire care. This is the tub. There are not too, too many details in it. Obviously, because you're going to put all those knobs and uh, switches. What I want to show you is the PSP, um, the backrest and um, the seat rest. They do have nice textures. textures. Um, this is the oxygen mask. Unfortunately, um, they could have done better. But... The helmet and the oxygen mask are not um, the major player in here. This is what I wanted to show you earlier and when I said uh, in the instructions. We have all those um, ports. Actually, you will be able to put all those knobs once they're nice and painted and uh, the panels are nice and dry. These are the knobs I was uh, I was telling you about earlier. So uh, you will be able to to paint them nicely and um, attach them to your um, side panels. These are the um, HPIU uh, connectors that, from the uh, harness that is going to pull the pilot. These are the buckles, um, the rocket motor. This is Rocky Motor. Um, here we have the QRF. Lots and lots of knobs and levers. Um, here we have the um, rudder control. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can actually see. Uh, there is actually a Lockheed logo on them. That is going to look neat if you know where to look. Uh, the head up display is over here. These, this is a control stick over here. There's a little bit of um, of flash, but not too much. I've seen worse, especially from Italieri. Uh, this kit, I think it was released with the F16 um, kit at the same time. 
uh, the cockpit. This is this is the main beam of the of the seat. Here we have the main gun of the seat. Here in these two ports here, you are supposed to put in the cartridges to uh, deploy the main gun and um, eject the pilot out with the help of the um, rocket motor. Again, you do see um, rivets here. Very nice details. Here we have the seat bucket. Again, nice details. Um, you can see the, the rivets. Um, this is the go forward lever that allows the pilot to move in uh, in the seat. Um, the helmet probably I'll on actually not do it. Doesn't look that great, but with some effort and uh, we might get it to look decent. Again, the instrument panel looks good. Nice textures. A little bit of flash here. Again, you can add a lot of knobs and switches. Um, the uh, the port, as I said earlier, the pilot that the pilot connects his um, oxygen and um, his. Um, Audio, uh, microphone, um, phones um, to to use the radio. This is the clear part. Um, to be honest, they do look good. So I might be able to do it. Very nice and clear parts. The head-up display, the radar, um, um, scope. Let's put this one back so you won't scratch it. This is the base that the um, you're going to be building the entire model. Typical to Italieri, this is printed by Cartograph in Italy. So you will have very nice details. The decals are cut right next to the edge. You won't, you won't be having things overlapping or being too big. And this is the harness. They are self adhesive and Actually, it's going to look really, really good on the model finish. That's about it. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos coming up with a lot of models, especially 1 in 32 scale. So um, yeah, you can um, comment, and um, if there's un some request for certain models, um, leave a comment, and I'll try to make a review. Thank you, and have a nice day.